To create a superimposition, a minimum of two analyses are required. Let's first choose the older analysis and place it into the assembly. The second analysis is newer and possibly from a different X-ray apparatus. Assemblies are created based on different diagnostic requirements. For example, aligned with SN plane, nasal plane, or mandibular plane. Our first link is between S and N landmarks of the first analysis and S and N landmarks of the second one. We create the link and rename it SN. Another link is created by connecting, for example, PNS and ANS from both analyses. We can also rename. The number of links between analyses in a superimposition is not limited, so we can create another one based on the position of the mandibular plane where both the tangent gonion and menton from both analyses are connected. Individual links can be selected by clicking on it. For each analysis, the transparency factor can be defined. The patient's image can also be added to the same assembly. We define two landmarks on the soft tissue that are also visible on the x-ray image and simply link them to the analysis. By adjusting the image transparency, the correct alignment can be easily checked. By using the skew and rotation tool, the patient's image can be aligned to the visible profile on the x-ray image. The combined image can be exported to a file for future use and for documentation.